Thank you, Alex. Mother Teresa. <laughs> sisters and brothers for making this really possible today and uh, to joyfully receiving us like your own family. And just uh, someone was sharing with me that the brothers are extremely handy to carry wood. They are the uh, one that just which uh, Scholastic, I think it was a week already. He was having some questions for me. And he was one of the questions was In today's world, what do you think? Do we still need priests? It's a very surprising question because we don't think like that. The world today is so rapidly changing. And with this corona, you see the separation of persons and people and of uh, communities. What is the role of the priest? What is the mission of the priest to the people of God, to the people in the world? Without priest, Father used to say we have no Jesus. Only the priest with his blood of the consecration can bring real presence of Jesus among us. This world without Jesus will be too sad. We cannot imagine it and we cannot live it. Another aspect which I think we need more and more priests is even in the times when we are not able to have the Eucharistic celebration in the Mass with a big crowd of people because of the virus. But each Mass celebrated by a priest is the most powerful event that the world can offer. God gives to his people. So every holy mass has such a power of, uh, of holiness and of uh, uh, goodness and forgiveness for the people, the precious blood of Jesus. Our mother was. Uh, so much venerating the priests and also especially for the gift and for the mandate they are having of forgiving the sins. Only in the Catholic Church we have the priest saying, you say, I forgive your sins. And we can start from the beginning, we can start anew, we can start with the freedom of the heart. I know to be a confessor, to sit in the confession, you do more penance than the penitents who come. Because you sit for hours and you take on the negativity which comes upon you. To live the life of priest. The first requirement is you have to constantly work at this. Keep that loving, intimate relationship with Jesus. Jesus present in the Eucharist. Jesus present in your own heart and seeing him and counting it in each person which you meet. The devil has his own tricks especially with the electric media, electronic media, with the electronic media, they fix you on that phone, they fix you on the computer, because there's always more to see, there's more to discover, and more to answers to get from the mobile, or from the computer. Those answers we never satisfy. The only answer which fills our heart is coming from the Eucharistic adoration. I'm sure you have time daily for the Eucharistic adoration or for personal prayer. I also greatly believe that the power of the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist comes to me through. I look at him and he looks at me. My eyes 
at the windows of his soul. And he was lying in his heart. And I want to hide. But I did not hide. I didn't expose my soul to him. To be purified by him. Present in the Eucharist. Just keep looking at Jesus. Just keep looking. Because he does look like us. I would rather offer you to repeat that for the that could of us talk about a person in this parish sitting for hours in the front of the tabernacle. And what are you doing? And he looks at me, I look at him. As I used to often repeat that. From the Eucharist, we receive purification. From the Eucharist, we receive <coughs> our holiness. From the Eucharist, we receive our strength, especially in these times. People are very busy to smash us down and to argue with us and get the upper hand of us. Unless the Holy Spirit speaks from our hearts, through our hearts and through our ourselves, we are not to really to and through these times which are coming up. Very clearly, in India, you get the opportunity for martyrdom. All of you. Only because you belong to Jesus. Only because you become a priest. Only because you say, Jesus is my God and my God. They will cut us down because everything we do and we say, Turned into evangelization by evangelizing the convert. And how do we stand? We are not social workers. We are religious, belonging to Jesus, speaking for Jesus, speaking as he is speaking through us. You are priests or becoming priests. You have a real chance for martyrdom. For every reason, we have to have the experience. I keep saying that this video is a surprise for me because I never thought India, people are moving around very quickly, they do anything, they do everything, people are very good to receive God and his Jesus. But now, this is parts of India, maybe the sisters are coming to me and they go to the village. They harvest them. They need to beat them with the sticks and to hide them. Because if you come to convert, unless we are grafted into Jesus and receive our nourishment constantly from him in the sacraments, especially in confession, this in sacrament of growth, of spiritual truth, facing the truth of myself. My Lord and Jesus will be the confession for us. And we have given enough trouble to the priests to get them from you to the other We need it. It doesn't actually, we need it to be in touch with Jesus and to be in touch with ourselves. See that people can see that you are priests. 